an actual scripted video after all this time? You're welcome, lads. Although this may not be what you're expecting, you see, this is supposed to be a review of Honey and Clover, the 2005 anime which is very popular in Japan but never quite gained the same level of universal acclaim in the West. On the surface, it kind of seems like my sort of show. It's about university students and mostly focuses on a pretty small scale character interaction. I'm supposed to be the slice of, guy slice of life guy, right? And this is what's weird. I can't really find anything to complain about here. Pretty much everything in the show is well executed. The writing, the character design, it's all above average. I think they pretty much nailed exactly what they were going for. So now I'm faced with a real problem. How do I explain to my audience that I just didn't like it? The only thing I can say is this one sentence. It's just not really my thing. What does this mean? I mentioned in my earlier videos my concept of fetishes, and this is more, a bit like a more advanced version of that. I think taste comes from a person's ability to relate to what is being shown. In some cases, relating too much can be a bad thing. If you're a jazz musician watching the movie Whiplash, the discrepancies between the film's portrayal of jazz and the reality is going to massively hurt your ability to enjoy the film. You're too close to the source to pull back. On the other hand, you have something akin to my experience with Mahoraba, something which most people wouldn't see as special at all, a character who is uh, very invested in card magic but too self-conscious to share it with anyone or respond positively when praised, is an experience which I myself have gone through, so that's something that touched me closely. Does that make sense here? It seems the stories in Honey and Clover aren't supposed to appeal to a niche, but be something that most people can vaguely relate to. And in that case, uh, sure, I can too. Being in university and struggling to keep up with the workload while maintaining a delicate social balance and all the time questioning what your place in the adult world is going to be, that is not alien to me by any means. But for some reason, this show just isn't my thing. The tone of self-seriousness doesn't work for me here, and I don't know why. This isn't the dreaded high school melodrama I hate with such a passion. The romance here is presented maturely, the problems are realistic, it's not like I hate the setting either, it's interesting enough, plus there are other university centred shows I love, like Tatami Galaxy being the obvious example. So it must be the characters themselves? Perhaps. It feels as though they rushed through characterization at the start and then decided to mostly build personalities through dramatic scenes. But again, I can't really say that's a problem, it works for what the show's going for, I just don't like it. So what should I say? What do I tell my audience about the show? How do I comfortably drop something which I can't find any major flaws in? I don't have an answer to these questions. But this isn't just about reviewing anime. This is a struggle in life. How do I communicate that some things just aren't for me? That's just never been a satisfying answer to anyone. It's a non-answer that feels like you're using it to shut down an overly complicated conversation that you don't want to get into. And it often is. When people ask me about cape shit movies, that is my go-to answer. I don't really watch them, it's not really my sort of thing, you know? And yet, where is this answer accepted? In the carnal. This is and all well this is and always will be the only judge of the carnal. So what do I mean? Food and sex. No matter how well done some scat porn is, it's never gonna be my thing. And no one would say, but look, it's got such good filming, and the people are so hot, and no, that would never happen. It's accepted that there is some deeper unconscious preference here. Same with food. If I have a friend who hates seafood, I may say jovially, what, how can you not like it? But there's no time when I would cook them seafood and force feed it to them. There is a rare occasion when a dish is well prepared enough that it can break through someone's tastes. Maybe you think chicken breast is just shit and dry, but then you have it prepared by a chef who knows exactly how not to overcook it, and suddenly it's tender and delicious. But 9 times out of 10, that chicken is not going to be that good. 9, t 9 out of 10 shonens are not hitting me, but at the same, but that one time it's done by a combination that happens to tickle my fancy in Hunter Hunter, suddenly I like it. Taste is a strange thing. So that's my case against this show. Nothing the creators did wrong, just pure cardinal instinctual taste on my part. It may not be the satisfying outcome, but it is the true one. But if that's not good enough for you, and you want me to make videos with real conclusions, consider funding my exploits on patreon.com forward slash no thank you, the O's are zeros, link in the description. Come back the next video where I'll be talking about Tsubasa Chronicle, and why it's the worst 2005 show I've seen so far.